When the settlers came here, they lived off the land and they drank the water from the spring. And how we got our name is, actually there was a wildcat spotted at the spring. And that is how they were like, hey, there's a cat at the spring, and then they got the name Cat Spring. Well, we got a few more squash here, that's right. So Cat Spring, I was born and raised over here, and uh, I joined the Agriculture Society in 1948. The original settlers that settled here were mostly from German and Czech descent. And these people here were kind of uh, very educated in Latin and so forth, and they were referred to as uh, the, the book farmers or the Latana farmers because they uh, were very educated, but they couldn't make a living over here. I mean, that's why the Cat Spring Agricultural Society was formed, because it taught those people how to farm. I am secretary of the organization, and I have been for probably a little bit more than 20 years. My grandfather, my father, uh, my brother's now president, and um, you know, I'm hopefully my kids will fall in my shoes and uh, just keep this organization going because it's teaching our kids and our grandkids the values of the land. Yes, I mean, just put them in here. This farm was bought in 1882. So we are living here on this farm for quite a few years. My great-grandfather, Joachim Hintz, he moved to America with his family in 1855. They settled in the Cat Spring area and were farmers. He started out building bridges, but then he moved on to small homes, but became known mostly for his dance halls that he helped design and build. It was used for meetings for the agriculture, the local farmers. They came here to learn about farming. Another unique portion of this building is that the beams that run from the 12 meter beams are one board. They're not spliced. They have no knot holes in them. Nowhere in the world can you find 12 meter lumber today, which is 40 foot long. We have in this county three round halls built by a German architect, Achim Hens. They wanted a place where they could get together and enjoy the fellowship with their community and do the dancing and singing that they love so much. We take a lot of pride in, in upkeep of the hall and the reason is because if you don't use a building it's going to diminish and so we want to keep it going and keep it alive and take care of it. I remember coming here as a kid and my parents would dance all night long and my aunts and uncles. People call it a venue and I call it home. It's just home. This is home and we welcome you.